Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for this movie. Thank you for this time. Thank you for this group of people who've gathered here in your name, Father Lord, to make this. I pray that we witness to those, Father Lord, who are believers and who are not, Father. Keep us safe. Bless this project, Father Lord. We ask all these things in Jesus' name and all God's people said. Amen. 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 All right. We get ready to get on this truck. We don't actually drive the cars here, you know what I'm saying? It's like, we, we, it'd be driving it forever in a day. So it's on a trailer, and uh, we're gonna sit up there, and the camera's from the we're gonna sit up here, and we're gonna actually watch it on the screen while we're driving. Uh, and camera action! Uh, right now we're actually doing a driving scene. I'm actually a little scared. I hear this is gonna be like people crashing. Miles is trying to follow me. It's the first time he actually sees me, so this is my first time on screen. Like that and let him come up here. Like that, and we're shooting off kind of three quarters fun. Then the cars, and then all the other ones start to park My vision for the film I'm in Love with the Church Girl is number one, very colorful. Number two, uh, I want it to look, feel, and taste like a real film. That means steady cam, jib, dolly, helicopter shots, very moving, very cutting edge, and uh, to, to just to make it make it exciting. Work. As a director of photography, I do work very closely with the director to create the look and the feel and the, the style of the film. I take what he's his story and I photograph it for him. So when Steve Race, the director, brought me on the project uh, and I met Gally Molina, uh, the writer, they told me that they wanted it to feel big. The first meeting, they said, let's go big. I want it to look big. And I was like, well, we need to shoot it like the big boys and you shoot it with anamorphic lenses. And the way the anamorphic lens works is it squeezes it down, but we're actually shooting a 2 4 0 to one which is just a typical widescreen, like Die Hard, all the big budgeted films you see out there have that aspect ratio. In this film, everything's on location. There's no stages, there's no sets, there's nothing like that. So I have to deal with whatever locations they choose. That was the place we're shooting. There's no choice. I couldn't go in there and say, this is not gonna work because the windows aren't facing right or the rooms aren't big enough. I had to make it work. Faith-based movies normally aren't big budget movies. So the first day coming on the set, I didn't really know what to expect. And when I arrived, um, just seeing you know everything that was there, it felt like I was back on the set of The Fighting Temptations, which was about a $100 million movie. Just seeing the cameras that they were shooting everything on, seeing the actors that were there, how they had really taken the time to cast the right people for the movie. Everything, like I'm saying, from wardrobe to the makeup to the catering, everything was done in excellence. So when I, when I got there, I was really blown away and like, wow, this is really gonna be an incredible movie. I felt at that point like this is something that's for real. 